These annual fishing negotiations are always very extremely important for, for Scotland and thousands of jobs depend on a successful outcome for Scotland and the Scottish Government will be fighting tooth and nail to make sure we get a, a fair and just deal for Scotland's fishermen because 2009 has been a tough year with the economic recession and some difficult restrictions and we'll be looking to make sure there's no more crazy restrictions imposed on Scotland's fleets for 2010 and we get a fair deal in terms of our fair share of quota for the fleet to catch. Well these annual fishing negotiations are always extremely challenging for Scotland because many of these decisions, far too many, are taken by remote control in Brussels and that's why it's important Scotland's there fighting our corner and I'll certainly be fighting for a fair and just deal for Scotland's fishing fleets and of course we want to on the one hand avoid any new restrictions which are completely inappropriate for Scottish waters, but we also want our fair share of the fish quotas to allow our fleet to make a living in 2010. And of course, with the breakdown of the EU-Norway talks, a lot of the negotiations will have to be continued in January, but we'll certainly be concluding some of the important fishing stocks uh, this week in Brussels. Scotland's most valuable fishery is the prawn fishery and the prawn quota will be decided at this week's negotiations in Brussels and other quotas won't finally know the outcome until the EU-Norway talks reconvene in January where the cod quotas and haddock quotas and so on will be finally decided. So it may be that this week we'll have to put in place provisional quotas to allow the fleet to go to sea in the early part of 2010 but unfortunately there will still be that degree of uncertainty until the EU-Norway talks are reconvened and we get the right result for Scotland out of these particular talks.